Hello again, everybody. Welcome back to Banished. My name is Bear. Now, the astute among you have already more than likely made the observation that things are not what they seem. We have a very, very different situation beholding us uh, in the beginning of this particular episode, and I have a lot of explaining to do. So, unfortunately, in preparation for PAX, I was recording in bulk, and I had to do about four episodes of this particular game yesterday in order to have that available to go over for the weekend for you guys. Sadly, I did not check my microphone settings before I recorded in that bulk series or in that bulk uh, session, and the microphone was up to obscenely high levels that were just rendered unusable. So, sadly, four episodes of this that I promise you you do not want to see are uh, are now going to be left in reserve. But uh, I'll try to get, bring you guys up to speed on what's happened up to this point uh, since that time has passed. So, first of all, I'm going to make sure that I'm working this particular uh, pasture, and I am going to fill this with cattle. So let's go ahead and do that. I uh, Okay, I actually kind of have to think about this for a second because I did rebuild these pastures here, so I want to make sure I'm doing things properly so we can actually take advantage of, uh, of these buildings. He doesn't want to finish this. Come on, man. Don't you go back. Don't you go back. We have 2% of this pasture left to build. Come on! One more! One more little tile of building, please. Somebody go over there and hammer in the final nail. I'd really appreciate that. Anybody? Anybody at all? There we go. Alright, so we're gonna work these two sources of cattle. So this is a very important thing that I need to show you guys, obviously. I'm gonna get to doing that in just a moment here. Uh, split this one as well. I think there's two pastures now being worked, but let's just make sure. I think I just split everything evenly. I may have to do it again. Actually, I may have to be make this a source of chicken, so that's probably okay. We'll go ahead and do that, and then we'll just split these over here. Cool. All right. Anyway, back to getting you guys back up to full strength here on uh, what's going down in our world. So. There's another farm over here. We ac acquired some pepper seeds from a merchant that came by as a result of trading away quite a bit of firewood and uh, some iron as well. I excavated quite a bit of the iron and stone sources up here in this north side. I also finally constructed the Forester's Lodge, the Hunting Cabin, and the Gatherer's Hut. Things have been going fairly well. I mean, like, it is a huge disappointment for me to not be able to share with you guys what was going on in those four episodes apart from, you know, like, complete summary of the situation. But uh, we've also been expanding our housing. We're considerably uh, positive in our food production now. It was kind of a concern for a little while. In fact, if I show you back five years, well, obviously five years is going to encompass the growth that we've already had. But we were having a bit of an issue as far as my food production, but now I'm definitely back up into a good surplus, and that's led me to believe that I'm safe to con continue expansion, as the most elderly generation has basically died off. We're now almost filling up this cemetery, which is kind of a concern for me. But other than that, things are going pretty damn well. So as I mentioned, we acquired those pepper seeds. Our cattle and chicken supply is just going up there like crazy, and it is a very, very good thing. These two things need to be worked. I'm not really sure why I'm not doing that with the excess of laborers I've got. So yeah, we've got just a lot of chickens, plenty of cows. I was hoping to allow my uh, cows to occupy this pasture. In fact, they were for a short while. But then I kind of rearranged things, and I think I'm okay with the way things are looking now as far as our uh, cattle and chicken allowance is concerned. I deleted the gatherers, uh, or not the gatherers, sorry, the, uh, the herbalist lodge that was somewhere over here, and I actually relocated it so it's deeper among the more mature trees because I've reassociated this space for, uh, for pasture territory. So that's all looking pretty good right there. The schoolhouse is actually filling up consistently with students. We had about 15 or 16 in there a little while back. So uh, everything is going pretty good. Brewer is still operating. We've got a few laborers that are still just gathering the resources that I've told them to get up here. We are getting up there as far as my log and firewood production. Firewood is actually a commodity that we have available for trade now, so that's a very, very good thing. And uh, the log production is kind of getting up there. We just need to find a few more laborers to become foresters. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and assign a couple of them to that very role because we now have three foresters lodges we have the one right there we have the one right here and we have another one down on the south end of this particular plot of land right there so things are looking pretty good in the uh, in the grand scheme I'm trying to remember if there's anything else in particular that I may not have pointed out that we uh, that we g g yeah, gained <laughs> that's the word getting them gains baby uh, that we gained from the past four episodes and there's not too much that's big. I did build this other fishing dock here as well to provide us with a bit more of a source of food, so there's that. Uh, the physician died, 
And I haven't really seen fit to replace him yet because it hasn't really been a concern. So I may end up regretting that as everybody falls sick to the plague at some point. But for now, I think it's probably okay that we go without it. Uh, out of laborers as the herdsman has been replaced, so we're down to zero again. Everything else is looking okay, as I've mentioned before. Our food stuffs are looking good. We got a lot of farmers, we got a lot of herdsmen, and we're producing some leather as a result of that, meaning we're actually creating quite a few hide jackets. I've switched the production of the iron over to coal out of the mine, so we're building steel tools with our blacksmith for the time being, and we've been able to do that for quite a while here, actually, so I suspect that won't change anytime soon, and I've actually put the remainder of my iron tools in the trading post for trading away, because we don't really want to use them anymore. We'd much rather have our entire uh, civilization using steel tools to be much more efficient in their work. We had to turn away about 13 nomads a couple of years ago, and it was kind of a sad thing, because be because while I did have the housing available for them, of course we still have the boarding house, so if we wanted to do it now, we might be able to. But at the time, we were kind of running at a huge deficiency in food, and I really didn't think that I would be able to afford the luxury of having 13 more laborers instantaneously without uh, going down quite a bit in our food supply and potentially killing some people off in the process. So ultimately I said nay to that option and uh, exercised my right to deny folks at the gate. And uh, things are going pretty well as far as that's concerned. I think I'm actually going to go ahead and bump up my fuel limit here as I still do have quite a bit of firewood inside the trading post. I can still uh, serve to make more. Of course, we have a second woodcutter's lodge here as well. I figured you guys probably would have noticed that one on your own because y'all are smart. Y'all probably figured out up to this point everything that I've done without me having to explain it, so <laughs> there you go. Also, the storage of produ produced goods is been near capacity for quite some time. I've got like 3,000 venison in here or something ridiculous. Okay, not quite that much, but still just an obscene amount of meat being stored away in the trading post. Hopefully this guy will take it away from me. He's got some chestnut seeds, which I could definitely get if I traded him away uh, quite a bit of firewood. In fact, I'll probably do that. All I'll need is about 650 and that should be it. So let's go ahead and fill up the trading post with these things. I don't have chestnuts yet. I'm almost positive that that's the case. So this could be a very good thing. We got our happiness actually up to five stars right now, which is wonderful. But uh, having those var varieties, varieties of food is always a very good thing. So let's fill up the firewood here. Might as well trade away these last iron tools. Unfortunately, he is no longer interested in ale, as he once was, so can't be trading that away. But once we get all the rest of this firewood in here for a trade, should be a... Uh, Pretty easy transaction. Shouldn't have to worry too much about whether or not we're going to be able to afford this thing. In fact, let's just check how much we actually need. Only, uh, probably not nearly as much as I'm moving over, but we might as well have him do it, considering how close in proximity he is to the actual storage of that firewood. There's the last little batch. You can see it in real time showing up right now. That's pretty awesome. So if we go up to 590, that'll get us uh, almost there. We may indeed need the rest of what I have him bringing over. See if we can do it now. 606 is pretty damn close. Pretty damn close. We got some growth happening elsewhere as well, which is fantastic. All right, come on, buddy. Before he leaves, get that other firewood over here. Come on. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. There we go. All right, there's the 650. If I get to 612 or something like that, 618 maybe? 618 might be exactly what I need. An additional four units, so 619 units of firewood. Exactly how much I need to get these chestnuts. Wonderful. All right, we're going to bring this way down now, probably to around 250, so I'm not trying to fill up the trading post with all those extra firewood bits. You can go ahead on your merry way, Wayman the Seed Merchant. We've got a few more laborers now as a result of wading through that, uh, through that seed acquisition, and we're probably going to assign them to work on this new farm and or orchard. I can't decide whether chestnuts will be a farm or an orchard, but I suppose we'll find out. I'm very happy to see that we can actually use this territory behind these homes. I was worried we wouldn't be able to. A chestnut. I wonder what that is. I wonder if we can see in this list. It's not a field, which means it's an orchard, so that's a good thing. All right. Glad I actually thought to check it that way. That's very, very handy. All right. There's our big old orchard. We're going to use this for uh, chestnuts that we just recently acquired. Still creating children, bringing them into the world, which is wonderful. May even be high time we uh, look into stretching out this... This uh, housing road here, and I've been toying with the idea of building another marketplace right here on this shallow stretch of land. Unfortunately, it wouldn't fit anywhere, no matter how hard I tried in this little corner, so that's not going to be happening. These guys are probably going to be within their own domain for quite some time. 
but I am looking into the possibility of building a second marketplace over there to facilitate the new residents that I'll eventually build over in that direction. Things are looking, again, quite good. I think this is probably the best uh, possible mid-game we could be expecting. I should really be a lot later into my uh, development of civ civilians. In fact, I should be well over 100 by now, I think, if I were doing things really well. Sadly, I missed out on some, some opportunities for growth in the form of 13 wandering nomads. That would have been a very good thing to have. Uh, building this orchard should be happening at the moment. I guess I'm totally at fault for not assigning people properly, but you would think maybe one person would remove whatever the hell it is that's stopping us from doing this. It's got to be this thing right here. Whatever that is, which looks like it's actually a, a coat. That's a coat. <laughs> there's, a, there's a hide jacket somebody left on the construction site. And that loan item is stopping us completely from constructing this orchard. Could someone please, anyone at all, I'd love it, if you increase the priority on building that thing. For the love of God. Okay. Storage is still at near capacity. I was toying with the thought of building another storage barn here as well. I didn't really think it was necessary, but we are also running completely out of storage space right here. Takes quite a few resources. That's the only reason why I was so hesitant. 16 uh, stone could be used for, well, nothing, I suppose. I also just gathered a bunch of iron. Holy cow, I wonder where that came from. It's a good thing, though. I think I might do it. I'm going to lay down the, uh, the foundation for it, at least, simply because there's nothing else I'm going to be building in that particular area. I just pressed T. I'm not 100% sure what that does. Probably ru ruins the game in some manner. I like to curse myself. No one wants to pick up this coat. Why? Someone please. They're both working on it. Is this a glitch? <laughs> I have no... Why? Remove the jacket! That sounds like I'm trying to persuade them to do something distasteful. There you go, buddy! Man, took you long enough. Alright, let's get these chestnuts rolling. Holy cow. Good God, I don't know why that was so difficult for folks. All right, Nest has become a student. Perfect. Nest is going to be the new world leader here. I uh, need another farmer. We're going to take away those two builders. Put the folks in there. And I guess I need another one. There we go. All right. Farmers are fit to go. Food supply is looking slick. All right, looks like he's run out of coal finally, so... May well be high time that I tell him to stop making tools for a moment, but then again, this is the only thing we're using coal for, so I guess I can keep him going. Uh, they've reached their log limit. I should definitely be increasing that. I haven't had that issue in a long time, so let's just bump that way the hell up. There we go. There's your better log limit, fellas. Do your thing. I hope to get you more foresters pretty soon here. As I mentioned in an epi episode that will no longer be seen by the eyes of men, <laughs> I, um, I still have the uh, very clear objective of getting about a thousand logs and a thousand firewood at any time so that I can A, make them available for trade, and B, not have to worry about that production of resources. Because that's a very renewable resource, and it's something that if managed well, you'll never ever run out of. Uh, of course, you can build a couple more mines and quarries and have kind of the same attitude towards stone and iron at some point in the future of your uh, city here, but for the moment the the big goal, the big wish is of course to uh, to get those logs and firewood and at a point where you never have to worry about whether or not you're going to have them. I'm going to go ahead and let these guys build this actually. Sadly I don't have anybody that's freely available to start doing that, but I suspect it'll be something that I'll eventually be able to uh, take take the reins on and, and get cracking. This extra uh, hunter's cabin over here as well is actually providing us with quite a bit more leather. As you can see last season they provided 30 units whereas I was only able to get 30 units through the course of an entire year by virtue of this lone hunting cabin. Of course we have a bit more as a result of the cattle that we've been expanding out of. Uh, we've got 8 working in this pasture here, as well as another 6 and 7, so a total of 21 cattle, producing somewhere in the vicinity of, I'd say, uh, 25 leather across the entirety of these pastures. Which is a very good thing, we're pretty much only getting eggs from the chickens, but that is quite a bit of egg. So uh, it's a very good source for food, and I mean, I certainly would like to have a bunch more cows. But as I was toying around with these pastures down here, I realized that the capacity for the littler animals is quite a bit higher than those for the big ones. For example, if I were to put these uh, cows inside this mega pasture, they'd only be able to uh, hold 18, whereas the comparison between these two is literally double the amount of capacity for chickens. So 
That's probably probably a fair use for that space, I'd say. Overall, it could be a little better optimized, but I, I'm happy with the uh, I'm happy with the production value of that area as it stands right now. Of course, we've got plenty of room to expand over on the north side. In fact, this is more than likely going to be uh, operation or base of operations numero dos, as we would like to, uh, you know, start building a marketplace, more homes, stone homes, preferably. Now, I've actually been replacing quite a bit of the road. You guys have probably noticed that this by yourselves as well, but I used uh, quite a bit of stone to replace the roads going all the way out here to kind of our like exterior lands. Nothing that's really... I mean, I'm kind of in the process of replacing a bit of the main roads as well. They're not really working on that too much anymore, considering there's nobody actually assigned to do so. But, we do have Stone Road going all the way out here, all the way out to the uh, to the Herbalist Lodge. And uh, things are going pretty well aside as we try to improve upon our existing structures while continuously expanding as well. Reserve of Firewood is still low, so I've still got both cutters working full-time. Hopefully able to uh, get us back into solid shape there. We are also filling up the trading post quite a bit with firewood. They've gotten up to their necessary capacity, so that's not going to be a problem anymore. Still 2,000 venison just sitting in there. As soon as I build this other storage barn, we'll probably be able to fix that. Unless I can trade it all away to this guy. It's really unfortunate that so few merchants want food. Because if you have 2,000 venison just sitting in your trading post, I mean... I'm not really sure what to do with it aside from, uh, you know, like throwing it on someone else's boat. We also just got up to uh, five hearts and five stars, so that's a very good thing. Okay, so he's got himself some potato seeds I'd very much like to have. Oh my goodness, hold on a second though, this guy definitely wants venison. Okay, well, foot in mouth, man, this is wonderful. This is a very good thing, I'm going to be able to get like everything he has to offer simply by vir virtue of trading away all of this excess food. This is wonderful. So there's 500 right there, there's already, uh, I've got 6,000 units, man. I can literally afford everything he wants to give me. This is absolutely fantastic, alright. He's got two logs. Or no, sorry, he's got a count of 50, alright, so we're going to do 50 there, 25 there. And I'm still in complete excess, so I don't even have to give them all, t or give them all away. Give it away, give it away, give it away now. 1,200 gets me up to that point. If I do 1,250, I am 25 units ahead. So if I go down to 1,240, five more units, which is one of these and one thing worth two or just two fish. There we go. 1,241 units of venison for potato seeds, logs, roots, cherries, and wool. That is a good deal for me. Very nice. Oh, what a wonderful trade. Now where are my potatoes? Potatoes are going to be a farmland item. Definitely want to get those cracking, so let's see where the best space for a new farm is going to be. Probably down here, actually. I kind of wish I'd allowed myself to build a road all the way out this way, but at the same time what I could do is lay down the path for a stone road along this way, and then go like that. But then how big could my farm be if I were to build it down here? Maybe I should just make people suck it up and walk all the way down there without road to guide them along the way. That's probably what I'll end up doing. Alright, here's another crop field. How big can we make it down here? Let's find out. It's too big of a crop field. That's way too long of a crop field, apparently. Still a lot of room for it, though, so that's a good thing. It's too large of a crop field still. That's interesting. Alright, so it can't be any longer than 15, it seems. 15 by 7 crop field potatoes. I'm okay with that. I'll actually build a road down here, just so it doesn't have to be a terrible thing for them to get all the way down. We'll just do a dirt one for now, maybe upgrade it to a stone road later on. There we go. Alright. Gonna clear that out. Eventually have a uh, another potato farm. Antos has replaced Armenia as a farmer. Still not working the hospital. If I could get some nomads right now, I'd totally be on board with that. Our production of food is severely outweighing our used food. As I say that, I realize that I'm actually completely wrong about that. And I have no idea what's so drastically changed since I last mentioned it. Oh no, that's uh, that's not good. We are still in the middle of summer. Maybe I should look at the uh, two-year chart again. Still uh, pretty good, but uh, now I'm starting to worry about that. Maybe we've uh, birthed a bunch of offspring lately, and that's what's changing the pace of things here. Storage is still near capacity. They should eventually be building this actual storage barn, in fact. Well, then again, there's nobody assigned to do so, so that would be exactly why it's not happening. So let's take a... Uh, I don't even know who we should take away. I guess we're going to take away a couple foresters and have them 
start actually finishing the construction on these items. So we've got this uh, storage barn being constructed. I think the other main construction project that the town has right now is to finish those stone roads in the middle of the town as well as this uh, new crop field down here. So I definitely want to have, yes, Serenada, I serenade you. You are perfectly on time. Good to see you. Growing up. Beautiful, beautiful thing to grow up. Are we making any ale? We got some berries we can make some ale with. I still don't truly understand the brewery because it always seems like they have the resources they need. They just refuse to do so. It's very interesting. Very, very interesting. Oh, well. Desi has become an adult fantastic. We got another builder working on the project. A second storage barn. I mean, it's probably not a bad idea. It's really not the highest priority item, but honestly, it's good to have it. Good to have it so you can make sure you've got excess upon excess. Live for excess. A child named Brill was born. Fantastic. Could always use more people. Could always use more people. In fact, I might even build a further set of homes to encourage them even more, despite the fact that I have just been checking my food supply, and it is... It is scaring me, as we're somehow 1,000 less than the used. 1,000 less than the used, yes. The bird and the worm, if you will. I stand by it. Oh, we lost that 5-star health rating pretty quickly, though. <laughs> 5 hearts, I suppose. Oh, boy. Well, there's our second storage barn complete, so we don't have to worry about this capacity thing anymore, assuming they're going to be intelligent about it. Now our builders will move down. Try to hopefully get this crop field going. We do have the dirt road going down there as well. That's probably what they're working on. This stone road, I can't tell if it's done. I think it is. They're just being kind of silly about it with the appearance overall. Maybe this part isn't finished. Does it look the same? Let's go find out. Does it look the same as this one? It does, so it must be done. So they're not working on that anymore. We now have two more laborers we could be using elsewhere. So let's see. I don't think I need them to be foresters. I think I've got enough foresters for now. I think I'd much rather focus on the, uh, on the supply of food. So let's get them to be fishermen. We're going to obviously assign somebody to work this new source of potatoes that we just acquired. So that's a very good thing. And we're going to do that. Very nice. All right. Oh, Darius and the Gatherer has been replaced by Thayer as well. Thayer and Cher. We have a we have a Thayer and we have a Cher. I think the Cher died. No, the share became an adult and was working as a laborer, and we were like, it's about goddamn time, share. It's about goddamn time, share. Oh, man. That was not even what I intended to say. Oh, that's a great note to leave the episode on, isn't it? That's a great goddamn time, share. Thanks so much for watching this episode of Banished. Again, I apologize. For, or, I apologize. I apologize for the discrepancy and gap between episodes and whatnot. I hope I was able to provide you guys with an adequate summary of what went down and I know I said this already but I promise you, you do not want to hear the uh, quality that uh, befell those previous recordings, so I apologize for that again. Anyway, leave a like if you're enjoying it. Thanks so much for the uh, support. I really appreciate it. My name is Bear. See you next time.